suppose that A is an invertible matrix, and we're going to prove that if AB is equal to AC, then B is equal to C. Let's go ahead and go through the proof. So we'll start by just reiterating that A is invertible. So suppose A is invertible. And also um, that, uh, let's assume this part here, AB equals AC. So now we have to show that uh, B is equal to C. So in order to do that, we're going to use the fact that A is invertible. So since A is invertible, A inverse exists. Right? So we have uh, an inverse matrix. And so now what we'll do is we'll basically uh, take this equation here and multiply both sides of this equation by A inverse. So then A inverse, so multiplying on the left, times AB is equal to A inverse and multiplying on the right times AC. So we have to multiply on the same side. Remember, uh, matrix multiplication is not necessarily commutative. And now we're going to use associativity. So we can write this as A inverse A times B, and that's equal to A inverse A times C. And this is uh, by associativity of matrix multiplication. I'll just say by associativity. Really nice. And uh, A inverse times A is the identity matrix. Same thing here, it's the identity matrix. So this is because uh, A inverse is the inverse of A. That's what it means to be the inverse. When you multiply it uh, by A, you get the identity matrix. And this is B, right? I times B is B, I times C is C, and this is because I is the identity matrix, is the identity, identity matrix. Good stuff. So that's it, <laughs> right? We did it. I did it kind of fast. Sorry, but um, so basically, you you assume this, and and then this. This is your if part. So you write that down, and then you have to show this. So you write down what it means for A to be invertible. It means that this exists, and then basically you have to show B equals C, so you have to get rid of the A. So the natural thing to do is to multiply by A inverse on the left. Uh, make sure to use associativity, and use a lot of stuff here, right? Use associativity, use the fact that uh, A inverse is the inverse of A, and use the fact, uh, again, that I is the identity. And yeah, really, really nice. This completes the proof. This completes the proof. And that's it. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.